everybody, Christopher Rod here. Welcome back. This is XCOM 2, and uh, we've got some Guerrilla Tactics squad or Guerrilla Tactics school upgrades that we can buy. We're definitely going to buy squad size one, and I don't know why these always go blue, but we're also going to buy uh, wet work because extra promotions equal extra people in our squad. So we're going to just consume all of our supplies in order to make that happen. But I think it's uh, I think it's worth it. Uh, let's head back into our mission, which I believe was a, a VIP. Yeah, here it is. Operation Dawnchild, 180 supplies, 80 intel. And the soldiers that we have, so we now have five available to take out. I think we'll take out two rookies. We're going to bring out Chupi Chupacabra. We're going to bring out uh, Massamun. I'm, it's either Massamune, it's not Massamuni, or it's, or it's Massamun. There was like two people that had a lot of uh, popular comments with different pronunciations. So, yeah. Um, I don't think we're going to bring Borges. We said we were going to leave uh, one Grenadier kind of behind. We'll bring Angmar. We can bring um, Nova. And last but not least, let's bring out uh, Corentin Leguenek, the Gwenator. The Gwenator. I wonder if that's supposed to be Gweninator. Doesn't matter. Um, we're gonna bring as well a flashbang. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, when I loaded this, by the way, it uh, said that one of the mods was missing, and the mod's name was my XCOM 2 mod. And so, what I'm kind of wondering is, um, how do I figure out what mod that is? Like, it's somebody like didn't name their mod correctly or something, and maybe it got updated. I'm guessing but I'm still not sure how to isolate which mod that was. Maybe we'll figure it out once we're in, but uh, if you guys happen to know, then please, please tell me. That would be great. Um, I'm also trying to decide, do we want to give this PCS chip to anybody here? Um, it wouldn't be bad, but we do have somebody. Let's see, I think it's our rogue who has additional movement already. Yeah. So maybe it's best we could, like, further stack that. I don't know if that's the right idea, if we should give it to somebody else. Um, we're not going to bring out this rogue anyways. But maybe for now we'll just hold on to it and we'll make our decision later. Here we go. Sky Ranger deployed. Squad green to deploy. Dropping down. Resistance has asked that we intercede in dealing with a VIP thought to be working with the aliens. The target is being moved by Advent forces through this area via one of their transport vehicles. Capture the VIP if possible. Engage as needed. Don't let the alien forces stand in your way. Okay. Operation Dawnchild in the Advent Municipal District. Tijuana. Naturally. Capture or kill enemy VIP. This squad, this squad, I don't know how they're going to treat the VIP, but... We'll worry about that when we get there. Menace 1-5, target location confirmed. Move to engage. Eliminate all hostile contacts. Okay. The extraction zone's very close to the VIP, that's helpful. Opposition is masked. And we're gonna have 10 turns once we break uh, concealment. So I think that's probably plenty. Um, how is our, what's our best way here? I think probably getting to this building, attacking from up top, grabbing the VIP, moving over here to this exit. The trouble with VIPs and vehicles is that they're very unpredictable in terms of what position. we may um, blow up. <laughs> Sometimes things like to catch fire at like Moving the out. worst possible times. I have eyes on the enemy. Ooh, I like that. If we could get a grenade up there, that's like almost instant death, you know? And we can, we can hit that corner, but that's, I'm not satisfied. Not satisfied. And they're probably gonna come down, I would guess. 
Let's move these guys up. We do have extra grenades, so we shouldn't be shy. Let's bring Masamuni in here. And we'll bring Angmar up. Angmar, we've uh, equipped with a slightly upgraded uh, shotgun. We've attached a... Um, like a laser sight, I believe it is. For the extra crit chance. We've called it Crystallis after a weapon in Dota 2. Um, look, we could dilly-dally here. But this is like, this is as beautiful as it will get, I think. So, I'm gonna bring these guys in. And... I don't know if we should overwatch. We can maybe overwatch like one or two. Let's, uh, let's overwatch our rookie Gwenader here. And then the rest we're gonna, we're gonna hold on to and react accordingly. I don't know where the other one is. I can't see him. I don't know if we're going to hit him or not. We may only hit like three tiles in. That looks pretty good. And then we'll have ten turns to get to the VIP and extract. Yeah, well, okay. That hit all of them, I think. <laughs> You can hear, he's, I think he survived. Yeah, he did. Come on out, big boy. Oh, nice. Oh, over there. Okay, well, questionable. Little questionable. Okay, we don't have any way of flanking here. But. Do we also, do we don't have a ranger with us, do we? Nope. I mean, we could take this pistol shot. Forty-seven. We've got thirty-fours from Choopy here. Um, we can get really close to flanking. I'm gonna try this just to get a better chance. It's not bad. Come on, Choops. Okay. Shot wide. Okay. Come on, Nova. Hmm. Great. Things are working out fantastically. Uh, well, I know it solves this problem every time. There we go. Sectoid problem solved. Now we've got nine turns here. And we see where the enemy is. Is this going to trigger them? Mm, likely. Well, maybe not. All right, I'll go. Let's bring these guys over. What's over there? Je dois pouvoir faire ça. And then I don't know if we should go up top or not. We don't really have a great access point. We have to go inside and up through here. If we go to this door, it is locked, and it's not, or is it transparent? I don't think so. I think we're going to be okay sneaking in here. Let's bring Nova. Yes. Okay, this is taking a little bit longer than I would like. Um, let's... Let's bring Masamuni in. We'll bring Choopy in over here. And then let's bring Angmar in here. I'm all over it. Now we've got options. We could open the door here and just fight. Or we try to go up top. Um, I like our positioning that's available to us here. Actually. And if we take a rookie up, we can get pretty good eyes on what's happening. We'll also be able to see um, the VIP. 
So let's do this. It's gonna cause a little shitstorm, but we can also like react to their scatter here. What do we got? Who's the eight? Oh, we got a stunny. Four troopers and a stunny. Okay. Target identity confirmed. Menace one five. Remember, we're here to capture the vehicle if possible. Knock them yep. out and bring them in. Okay, so that is that is concerning. However, we have a flashbang, and if we wanted to, this may not even be such a bad thing to use right now. Uh, let's open up the door, I think. Let's just check the flashbang range. Can we hit three? Uh, no. We could hit him. Looks like it's hitting him. Actually, I don't think it is. That looks like it is, but I can't be certain. Where are they all? So we have one here, one here. This one's, like, hidden. In some weird spot. And I'm thinking we just start tossing grenades, like... Why not? Of course, if we could hit two with our grenade, that would be significantly better. Um, we can move Nova in, probably. It's not the greatest cover of all time. Uh, Banshee. We don't have any free shots. And we do have a shotgun. Down here is not a bad idea, but then, again, half cover. But, like, we don't have any any full cover to run to and be aggressive. So, that idea is probably the best that we have. Let's at least position in here. Okay, we've got a decent shot on that one. I kind of wonder, with Baron here... Yeah, we could, we could do some work on these guys. Um, I, we, I don't think we can hit both, unless we get a weird bounce going on here. Oh, there it is. We can do it. Can totally hit both. Or... Or, can we hit these two? We could if we move him. And then we just go all out on that Stun Lancer. Actually, I think that's probably the right call. Let's bring Baron in. Plus, he's a little bit beefier. So if that's going to be the target, then fine. Yeah, I think this is a good. I think this is a good call. If we could do another bounce to blow up his cover, that would be great. But I mean, it could still happen. There's a good chance that it might still blow the cover in front of him. Grenades are well; they always surprise us. Okay, good. Didn't remove his cover, that's fine. Um, who do we want to hit next? Maybe this is where we take the bounce. If we can get it. We also have Paulina with the flashbang. We've got Gwenator up here. I like the 89, but we need our max damage to kill him. Whereas if we take this shot, which is still pretty good, he knocks him down. There you go. Good job. Welcome to the team. You're welcome to stay if you like. All right, let's see if Banshee can pick this up. There's nothing else that she can do in here. Come on! Did that hit? I don't think it did. Oh, it did, but it didn't kill! Oh, that's gross. Okay, okay, okay. Don't 
panic. Everything is cool. Everything is cool. Uh, we actually will have a shot from up here if we want it. But, he's in full cover. I think we should just use our grenades. Honestly. I'm trusting you here. Oh, uh, we've got the flank shot. Which we, we are going to have to go for. Um, what would that trooper possibly do? The trooper might come in here and... Well, he's not going to be able to flank any of these guys. They're all protected from both sides. Unless he comes around here, which is totally possible, actually. But then he'd be standing right in Ninja's face. Interesting. It's an interesting call we have to make. I think we're going to have to use the grenade on one guy, which I hate to do. I'm just trying to see if we can get any vision of the Stun Lancer. I guess it's going to have to be from here. Let's bring Nova in. Come on now. 80. Come on now. Nice job. Nice job, rookies. Fuck yes. Now, if I don't have to blow up that car, that would be great. Uh, I don't want to blow up the wall either. I just don't want anything blown up in this area. Except for soldiers. Advent soldiers, specifically. Nice! <laughs> Since she gets the four. Alright, but we are at the mercy of this one trooper to see what he'll do. We've got them on the run. Sounds like he might be taken off. Oh, he's a loser! He doesn't have any self-direction. <laughs> That's how you define what a loser is, apparently. Uh, ooh, look at that. Why can we see them? And how do I take advantage of this scenario? Oh, uh, man, I wonder if we can get over there. We'd be behind this thing, and then we could maybe launch a grenade over top. I don't know, that's pretty far. But let's bring Baron over I'm to this going. corner. And let's see. Can we... Oh, it's a little too far. Just by a hair. And I'm pretty sure that if we go out here, we're gonna be revealed. Okay, Masamun okay? or Masamun. Here we go. There we go. Nice job. Now, do we take the risk and go out there? I would say we maybe just take this turn to be chill. See if anybody comes around. Come get some. Let's That's just move sheesh. him in just a tad. Okay, and then who's gonna be... Who's gonna be the hero? I think we gotta put it on a rookie. We can still see those guys, and it's a stun lancer, a trooper, and a sectoid. Um, I wonder if this would get me close enough. I'm trying to move in closely where they're not going to be able to tell that we're coming. And we're getting there. We are, ge we are getting there. But I feel like we may end up triggering them whether we want to or not. We still have five turns. I would say that's plenty of time at this rate. Yes. Let's bring these guys maybe up top, and then when we engage, we'll try and draw them towards us. Get me it done. Overwatch here. 
don't get so. And then that, I think, was detecting vision. What's over there? Yeah, let's oh, overwatch gosh. here. Oh, now they're moving. Now they're moving. Well, this is okay, unless we hit this car. No, don't hit the car. Shit. Okay, it's not on fire. Yet. All right, well, that made situation a little bit more difficult than I was hoping. At least we just, we only blew out the windows. We didn't blow the car up. Right? That's a positive. And these guys all went separate. I think we got to focus the Lancer for sure. But... We don't have any flanking positions for him. Oh, these shots should be pretty decent. Um, maybe what we do... I could bring him over and try to throw a grenade. Just to get rid of the cover. What? She did. Gwenader, you're making a name for yourself already, pal. Oh, it's so close. Let's go. Shit. Okay, what's the alternative here? I think we might need to do... I need to find some full cover that I can trust. Which would ideally be right back here, the one place that we cannot reach. We could sit in the half cover, probably have to receive a couple shots from these guys. Um, but am I just being cheap with grenades again? Like, that's kind of what I feel like. This guy, like, needs to die. Take this! Okay. And obviously, knowing now um, what we just did, we should have done that first, but I was thinking if we get a shot off and we get damage with Gwenator, then we'll probably finish him off with the others, but we've got two shots with Angmar, albeit one's going to be with a shotgun. Oh, fuck, yes. That's actually significant. Um, Massa Moon. Is this guy alive? Like, will they... I don't think they'll attack him. They're here to, they're here to like, protect him. So they're not gonna go after him. I think we'll take our shot with Angmar. Come on. Nice job. I'll look to flashbang the others. Hostile terminated. Which looks like we can do to two of them. Right? I could move in and maybe get all three. That's possible. But I like the high ground for shots next turn. And the sectoid, I'm going to assume that he's going to use some type of psionic. I don't know what. Okay, so those guys are disoriented. Let's see what their aim is. Minus 20, so it's 45 base aim. That's good. That's very good. Um, I don't think we're going to move, so let's just reload our weapon. And let's see what we can do. Rock and roll. Oh, not the car again. Oh, shit. I didn't... Uh, be cool, car. We're not taking any more shots from there. Oh, fuck. Something blew up. Oh, it's, I'm hoping it was back there. I thought maybe that was more enemies coming in. No, car's cool. 
What's he doing? Oh yeah, okay. Yep, I can see that being an attractive option for you. Our VIP is panicked. Alright. Now... <laughs> I'm thinking... Oh, can we just blow this thing up? It's like it's not a bad option. We still have time to get out. I mean, or we could we could run it. We could run it with uh, Choopy. Because we could get him down here to flank the, uh, the sectoid. Draw the overwatch. Even if he gets hit, I mean, he's got armor. He should be fine, I think. Right? Ideally. The other option is to use the grenade to try and blow up the truck. Let's try it. Nope. Not quite gonna do it till next turn. Okay. He's disoriented anyways. Let's go for it. Oh, fuck. Right in the noggin. And he panicked. No! Oh, God. What the fuck is happening here? Alright, well that makes things way messier. Because we've got to kill that sectoid. We've got to kill this guy. So if I come down here... Um... Man, this is going to be really tight to see how this plays out. Shit. Angmar does have a shot, but we have to be out of cover to get a good shot on the sectoid. Um... I don't like this. And I'm trying to see if, like, we'll be able to get back to him on the next turn, which we're not going to be able to, and we have to be able to. Oh, that grenade thing is dicking me over now. And, like, we actually have to kill the sectoid. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go all out to try and make this happen. Do not blow at any windows. Just please kill this trooper. Yes. Okay. And then Banshee. I'm bringing you down here. I mean, that shot's going to be pretty far. We're probably better off with Paulina because of just the... Just having an actual rifle. Come on. We're gonna leave her in the open. It's a risk. Gotta take it. Ye Yo! Nice shot! Rookies! Okay. Now we're gonna get right next to the VIP. And we should be able to leave. Good. He's he's still panicked. That's fantastic. <laughs> VIP Passing down. Confirmed. Target package in custody. Target VIP secured. Yep. Heading and out. now we motor. So we're actually close enough here to get out with Paulina. Coordinator is not. We're gonna bring him in. And I'd like to bring her 
around this way, just in case we have enemies down there that we don't currently see. On it. Oh, look at that shit. No, oh, thank you. We're not going to be sticking around for that. Enemy transport inbound on your current position. Let's make sure we get her out first. Got it. Bring Massamoon to the top. Nova top right. Wenick in. And Choopy took one for the team. Moving out. Out we go. VIP secure and in position for evac. That's cool. I've never got to use that before. We did it. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. We did it. With one turn to spare. Okay. So, Chewie did take damage. Understandable. But, I would say, all things considered, that went pretty well-ish. I mean... Look at this is the way I look at it. Um, if we go out and we come back and everybody's alive, that's pretty good. <laughs> and in this case, we brought an extra one back alive. So. Aren't these Lux usually percentages or maybe I'm wrong? Maybe that's one of the ones that got updated. Maybe that is the mod that was causing the, uh, the issue that I was talking about. Alright, 10 days for Baron. That's not bad. That's like fatigue, basically. So that's okay. Uh, demolition or suppression? I think we're going to grab suppression. I don't find demolition to be that beneficial. Um, it doesn't increase environmental damage, but it doesn't even always work. So I'm going to take suppression. Um, Massaman. Do we want to grab the blast padding? Or are we going to start running into some shields? It's possible to. Both again are great. I'm not worried about, like, the reason I like blast padding is for the armor point. It's nothing to do with the d reduced damage from explosives at all. It's 100% for the armor. Um, but let's go Shredder with her. And then Angmar... Here we go. So we've got uh, Lucky Shot, or we've got Mark Target. We have another trooper with Mark Target. I like the guaranteed pistol shot. I really do. Um, that's two to three guaranteed damage. Sometimes you get enemies that are just like, you know, if your chance to hit is 20 and you have that, I mean, I can see the benefits. But whereas Mark Target, and I think Mark Target doesn't even end your turn. So you can use this. Grant bonuses basically plus 15 to everybody on your team against that target. And then, uh, yeah, I think, I think we're just going to go with this one. The next trooper that we have, we'll build out the other way. There we go. So Nova, we're going to build out as a shock trooper for sure. But we're getting a lot of troopers. God, who are you going to be? Specialists. Awesome. Very, very cool. We're going to build you as like a... Probably a combat hacker, I think. And we got Daichi Tanaka as the enemy VIP. Looks suitably enemy VIP-ish, too. Very cool. You have done an outstanding job leading the Resistance, Commander. Thank you. Okay, so, Advanced Warfare Center in three days. That's really early still. Um, we should still see a lot of um, perks coming out of that, so I'm pretty happy about it. Um, but for now, let's keep up our scanning. Uh, increase region income. That's not bad. What's our other option? Continue making contact. We should grab the rest of our supplies. Avenger plotting new course. 
Okay, nice. And we've got another soldier. Uh, Joseph Crazy Dude Zack as our specialist. Very cool. I like it. Let's head into the Gorilla Tactics and keep training these guys. Uh, who do we want to put in there next? We're holding on to question mark, I think, for PsyOps. Um, let's put in Marcus Bull. And... What are we low on right now? I, I want to say we're low on rangers and sharpshooters. That's what my gut's telling me. Let's see. So we have three grenadiers, two rangers, two rogues, a bunch of rookies. Um, four specialists, two sharpshooters, and three troopers. So yeah, we're... Another ranger wouldn't be a bad idea. Sharpshooter wouldn't be a bad idea. Um... We're gonna need like a minimum of three each. I'm all already thinking or seeing that we're gonna need to hire more uh, squad squad mates this time around. So let's put you in here as a ranger. Just clear this up. So we could grab a uh, lightning strike, but with the true concealment, this becomes less important. Um, so I'm going to pass on that. We have lots of money. That's, I guess, the upside of the resistance haven that we, um, that we uncovered. Nice. Okay, so AWC is up and running. Uh, we don't have enough engineers to, like, that's one what thing that's going to be commander? scary. Is we have two engineers. That's really not that good at all. Now we could put somebody in here to accelerate healing rates, or we could keep digging, which I think we should probably do. Um, we're going to need to build power next, so probably build power here. And then this would be a good spot for a workshop, because we could staff an engineer in there and then get a gremlin up here at the Advanced Warfare Center permanently. And then we've got an exposed power coil here. Um... So yeah, let's start excavating with McDragon. 60 frickin' days. Wow. Alright. God, do we ever need engineers I badly. I creaking down by the aft lift yesterday. I just hope... Okay, now, let's see if perhaps we can hire one. We have the supplies... That mission and hitting our uh, supply drop Welcome is pretty helpful. Man. Boom! Nora, that does not look like you. That looks like you. That's awesome. Okay, so we have 180 supplies, or we could buy her with Intel at the black market, maybe? I don't think we should. We have the money. Welcome, Commander. I think we're going to buy her straight up. That's so cool to see her back. All right. So we could throw her in for healing, but how are we doing? I mean, might not be a terrible idea. Might not be a terrible idea. Just just until the next mission, maybe. Let's throw Nora in. Oh, also, and I forgot to do this. Some people pointed out there were some fixes for how to get more people showing up at the base, because that was, I think, causing some slowdown for a lot of people. Um, and so, uh, for Axis, they patched that a bit so that there's less people walking around here. And there's a way to get that back. Defense I just have to do it. might be more resourceful than your average trooper. Okay, so do we want to grab Convoy? to increase the region income. This looks by in seven days, so uh, let's go ahead and finish making contact so we have more options for Gorilla Ops. If and when they will happen. There we go, that's awesome. Discoveries, Commander. These magnetic base Mag weapons going to be very helpful. Officer currently in cold storage. We should perform the autopsy as soon as possible. 
So we got the stutter mag, the mag pistol, the shard gun, and the magnetic rifle. Um, I think we'll probably go... Gauss weapons? So that we can get our weaponry up on everybody? Yeah, the officer can wait. Valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. Commander? All right, so I think the mag rifle is the one that makes the most sense. Um, I would love to get the shard gun. Actually, we could probably get both if we sell, sold some stuff. This is going to be 30 alloys. This one's only 15. So that would be within range. And then we need 75 supplies we could get from selling stuff. Um, so yeah, let's grab this. We're going to head to the black market. Actually, you know what? Let's just finish this here. There we go. Commander, we've established contact with the local resistance, and we can move on the advent black site on your order. We should make sure our troops are fully equipped and ready for a tough mission. Marking security will be tight at the facility. I've updated our latest operational objectives, Commander. So, uh, they're looking for four Illyrium cores. Uh... I don't think we should do that. We could probably sell crystals, because it's really early still, um, and we'll make some of these back. We could sell some corpses. Let's do like so. I think we needed 70. And then do we- maybe we should do the black site early. Because the longer we leave it around, the more difficult it's going to get. But then, this, there's the other side of me which thinks, well, we should wait for the Doom Tracker to build up, and then we could kind of like take those things down. It's a really actually difficult call. New orders, Commander? Not quite yet. Uh, oh, I need 75 supplies. Of course. The market is open. Too bad we couldn't a get access Commander? to, like, a credit card or something. Some type of advent stolen credit card would be great, great about it. Okay, so that's really good. Those are good upgrades to have. Um, just trying to decide if we should go for here or... I don't know. Avenger, Let's get the increased region course. income and then we'll continue to expand. We can make the decision at our next mission, which will probably pop right away. Look at these guys are all healing. All right, so guerrilla ops. We have two options now. So this will counter uh, guerrilla ops reinforcements. That would be nice. Destroy the relay. This one will counter the minor breakthrough, and we get a rogue. Ugh. I think. Both are terrible. Because we're going to have already increased amounts of enemies out there. Um, but having an instant block of progress is not good. So I think we'll go with this. It'll give us another soldier in Urius Rixus. And... Yeah. We're passing up 160 supplies though too. That's the other thing that's good about this. But if we go to the black site, we get some reduction, but then it's kind of just almost wiped away by this project here. Hmm. I think we'll go on Operation Dismal Knife and stop the breakthrough. But is money going to win us this game? <laughs> Shit, I don't know. This is a tough call. It's a really tough call. Um... Yeah, it's a really tough call. You know what I might do? I might just go to Twitter and say, hey, we've got these two mission types. Um, 
Which one should we take? I'm going to I'm going to do that. It'll be a little straw poll. And if you guys follow me on Twitter, then you'll you'll see it. Okay. Um, but we'll we'll still set up our squad to go to Dismal Night. US precinct. All right. So, uh, let's continue to work with these guys, try and get some promotions here. We'll bring, uh, Voper. We'll bring Keller, I think. And then... Oh, you know what? We haven't brought Borges yet. Let's bring him. And then do we want to take a, a rookie... Like, I feel like we should be kind of picking from all levels here, because they're not going to be available for the next mission. Um, the other option is we can just go assault the alien- or assault the, um... Uh, the black site, too, instead of this. So that would be, like, option number three that I'll present as a choice. Uh, let's see... So we're taking out a Grenadier, a Sharpshooter, a Ranger, another Grenadier. We should try and spread some love to the other classes, I think. Uh, let's bring Parker as well. And then these guys have their upgraded weapons, so this is nice to see. Sharpshooter, Grenadier, Ranger, Grenadier, Specialist. Yeah, I feel okay about it. Let's go flashbang on Keller. The only thing is, is like, none of these guys are really benefiting. Well, he's got the shard gun. But we only have two guys that are benefiting from our newest, most powerful weapons. Um, whereas, if I take out our trooper, she'll have a new shotgun. Shard gun. If we switch it, which I think we'd have to. Still holding on to that mobility chip. I don't know if I should be holding on to it for that much longer. And I think her weapon was black, so let's stick with that. Uh, he's got the shard gun, he's got the mag rifle over here. I think these are now carrying their, uh... It's carrying over their customization, so that's cool. Didn't do that before. I think this will be the squad we take out. Baron Edwards, Keller, Angmar, Parker. I'm really- I'm starting to get- I'm starting to get, uh... Attached to these guys. And, uh... They're starting to... Yeah, they're starting to wear on me in a good- in a good way, so... I'm not sure if we're going to go on Operation Dismal Knife, or if we'll go to the Black Site, uh, or if we'll go to the other operation. Um, we'll leave it up to, to Twitter to decide, I think. <laughs> Wish me luck, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. The world you once knew is no more. Earth is now ruled by the Advent Coalition and their alien masters.